today on Unbox Daily, we are taking a look at <coughs> Jurassic World Barbie Signature Dolls. Here is Owen and Claire. I remember this dynamic duo from the first Jurassic World movie. And I think that it is so cool that they have dolls. On the back of the box, you can see a picture of Chris Pratt, the actor that plays Owen. And at the bottom it says, Leading a quiet life, Owen learns that Blue is alive. Say what? And threatened by the volcanic eruption on the island. He is drawn back to the island to rescue her and the other dinosaurs, facing both natural and man-made threats. Dun, dun, dun. On the back of Claire's box, there is a picture of Bryce Dallas Howard, the actress that plays Claire. And at the bottom, it says, Jurassic World's former director of operations, Claire has spent the past few years campaigning for dinosaur rights through the Dinosaur Protection Group when she's asked to help save the dinosaurs left on the island. She uncovers much more than she ever imagined. Whoa, that sounds so exciting! Who needs a trailer when you have the back of a doll box? Speaking of boxes, let's get these two out of the box for a closer look. Out of the box, they both come with a paper certificate of authenticity that certifies that your Barbie Jurassic World doll was created by designers and artists at Mattel. They also have a doll stand so you can display your black label dolls. These dolls were $29.99 each and I ordered them online at Walmart.com. At that price, I am really hoping for made to move dolls. But we had no such luck with the Wrinkle in Time dolls, and those were 50. But there is only one way to find out, so let's take a look at Owen. He is wearing a khaki vest with faux pockets. Out of the box, the pants, shirt, and vest are all kind of pinned together. And I'm thinking that's because the shirt is a little short. It looks like it stops right at the edge of the pants. Yep, that's why. I wish the shirt was about half an inch longer. But the vest and the shirt are two separate pieces and the shirt velcros in the back. Right there. He's wearing fitted dark denim jeans and brown boots. The head can pivot on the neck. He has full rotation at the shoulder, can bend at the elbow, but that is definitely not a made-to-move joint. And there is rotation at the wrist. There is rotation at the hip. He can bend at the knee and ankle. So he is fully articulated. It's just not a made-to-move body. But he does have rooted hair and painted facial hair. Now let's take a look at Claire. Love the red hair. It is pulled back into a ponytail and she has bangs in the front. She has freckles! So cute! She is wearing a green shirt and a green tank top that has no Velcro. She is wearing brown pants that Velcro in the back and stop at the calf. And a pair of tall brown boots to finish the look. She is also fully articulated with movement at the head, shoulders, elbow, and wrist. The leg can move at the hip and knee. Wait a minute. That is a really good bend. Yep, that is a made to move knee. Overall, I like their face molds. He's very serious. And she is too cute. I am a big fan of dinosaurs. Thank you. Thank you very much. I even took a class in college because I love them so much. So these two were a must-have for my collection. But seriously, these two should have had made-to-move bodies. Come on, man. How are you going to run from dinosaurs with those knees? Ah! Ah! Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom hits theaters June 22, 2018. 
Thank you for joining us while we took a look at the Jurassic World dolls. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time for another Unbox Daily. And that's our collection for now.